Hey guys, what is up? Mist here with another video. Today I'm going to discuss the topic of buffering when using these free live TV APKs. I keep on making videos about these free live TV APKs and people are complaining it's buffering too much, the channels don't play at all, and then there's some people that say it works great, fantastic, fantastic upload. How do you get these two different types of people? Well, in this video I'm going to explain the main reasons and the best reason to try to relieve buffering as much as possible. Stay tuned. To all my new viewers out there, if you guys are not yet subscribed, just look below the video, click on the red subscribe button and then click the little notification bell so you guys will get notified for all future videos for everything I post. It's going to be great. You're going to be first to hear about all the new APKs, add-ons and much much more. Okay guys, so uh, first of all, what is a buffer? So basically when you actually watch a live stream, um, the device tries to kind of preload 30, 60 seconds, 90 seconds of uh, data onto your own device. That way you're able to load that you know, video stream um, without actually hitting the mark where it starts to buffer. When it starts to buffer, that means your, your device and or internet speed um, has basically reached a point where it's at the same point where it's preloaded. So let's say you've preloaded 15 seconds and you've hit 15 second mark. That's when it's gonna start to you know start to stutter and start to buffer. It's gonna try to preload another five seconds. So you, you'll be watching like 16 and it's preloaded 20 so far. That might be kind of confusing. So basically, um, there's many reasons that why it could buffer. Um, the main reason of why something could buffer could be your internet speed. Um, I know that's maybe basically uh, you know uh, a simple solution or a simple fix. But some people don't even know what their internet ISP speed is. If you're getting like the basic 5 megabits per second, 10 megabits per second download with the default um, cable provider ISP router slash switch slash access point combo, it's not going to work it out. First of all, that those low speeds of 5 or 10 megabits per second connection is good if you're hardwired into the modem directly and you're the only one on it. Um, you might be able to stream with no problem. But connect the wireless router to it and you have your phone, your tablet, your laptop and all that kind of devices all using that slow internet connection. Uh, you might experience more and more buffering because there's not enough bandwidth to go around and even your router might not be able to handle it. If you guys are don't know what router you have, or you basically the ISP came and installed the router and kind of just walked away, you're probably using the built-in um, router that's in your modem. A lot of ISPs these days give you a single device, which is a built-in uh, modem, a built-in access point, a built-in switch, and a built-in router. Um, kind of having one device doing the jobs of three or four of the devices. Um, the best way is to get your own router. So basically, if you if you get your modem and it already has built-in Wi-Fi, disable the Wi-Fi on it, connect it to a router, and have the router manage the Wi-Fi and the DHCP. Um, note, what you can do is you can put your modem into bridged mode, which most ISPs can help you with. But basically, that means you can have the modem doing only the modem, which is getting the internet from the ISP, and your router doing most of the bandwidth. The newest technology of Wi-Fi speeds these days is called AC. If you have a, any, any wireless N router or older, N might, be, N might be okay, but if you have like an A or B or G um, router, you need to upgrade to AC. AC is the newest standard. Um, routers, you can probably find a really, really good one for around 100 bucks US. Um, get like a 1200, 1400, um, 1300 AC a router and you'll be able to have absolutely uh, no issues now let's say you know oh uh, missed my speed is good I have 50 down 50 up I have I ha my router is you know pretty pretty decent it's in the, I've, I bought it you know in the past couple of months and it's 1900 AC speeds but I'm still buffering another solution is to try to hardwire your device I know Wi-Fi is convenient you can walk around the house plug in your Android, Android box or phone anyway anywhere but try to hardwire as much as you can. If you guys can't hardwire, use something called a power line adapter, which basically means a device that plugs into one near the router, 
one near your Android box, you connect the Ethernet cable to both ends, and the Ethernet gets transferred over the existing power line on your device to your Android box. You have a wired connection, not as fast as a good old-fashioned old Ethernet cable, but it's going to be faster. So let's say you're wired, you have a good router, good speed, but you're still getting buffering. There is more reasons to that. It could be your Android box itself. If you're using one of these preloaded $40, $30 Android boxes that have the built-in Kodi with a bunch of different apps, and you know it's one of those an Android 4.4.2, the hardware is not able to handle um, the amount of stuff you're throwing at it. The best budget Android TV box. It's probably going to be the A95X Pro, which I'm going to be doing a review on normally. That's around the $40, $50 range. If you guys have a Fire TV stick, please forget it and drop it. Fire TV sticks is not meant to handle more than the Amazon Prime streaming, Amazon Prime video, and maybe Terrarium, the modest version, the modern version of Freeflex. But the more stuff you're throwing on it, it's only a tiny device. It doesn't have that much RAM, doesn't have that much processing power. At least upgrade to a Fire TV Cube, okay? But if you guys want a something that's sub 40, 50 bucks, get the A95X Pro, which I'm going to do a video on. The next device after that, which is probably around the 90 to 100 dollar range device, is the Mi Cool M8S Pro L, which I've already done a video on, or the B-Link GT1 Ultimate, which I've also already done a video on. Those devices in the $100 range have at least 2 or 3 gigs of RAM, 32 gigs of storage, and a much better processor. Android 7.1 or higher, you've you got more compatibility with lots of apps, so you have a good Android box with a good router and good internet speed. But let's say, missed, I am still getting buffering. Let's say you have a Mi Cool m Pro with 50 down, 50 up, and a new router. And wired, how do I fix buffering? Well. It could be the Android APK source itself. Let's say sometimes even me with the NVIDIA Shield Pro, the new one that came out I think last year, with a hardwire connection. I have 150 down and I think 20 up. I sometimes will get buffering and I have um, a brand new router that I purchased this year that's wireless 1900 AC. I'm hardwired in and my NVIDIA Shield sees my full 150 download. Why am I selling a buffering? It's possible it's the source itself. When you're streaming a video, you're streaming it from a source server. If a lot of people are streaming at the exact same time, the server cannot handle all those streams at the exact same time. So what you probably have to do is find another APK, or what you can do is try to tweak your device to make it work better with the Android APKs. If you download Terrarium and use a default player out of the box with no tweaked settings, you look at buffering. For example, if you're using an app like, um, let's say, uh, HD Streams, right? It provides multiple players. Don't just go with the defaults. Try to at least change applications, change players, and try out different players. If different players and they're all not work, sometimes the app itself will have settings inside the player. Like I know MX Player, you can tweak the settings to make it better, which I'll make a video on in the future as well. You can tweak players that you don't have you don't have you don't have to just use a default you can let's say choose MX player and go inside MX player and tweak the settings even further because if you guys are using the default Android APKs with just no tweak settings and you have a good internet speed you're hardwired in you have a good router and you have a good you know Android box but you're still getting buffering try to tweak if you guys have done all of these and you are still getting buffering, it's definitely the source, guys. So, there is some buffering which just cannot be fixed, which means the source just cannot handle it. You, what you have to do is try playing that stream or channel at a different time of the day where it's not being used as much, or maybe the APK will get updated in the future to basically have better servers. There is some possibility where buffering is just due to the amount of load on the server. In that case, you have to switch to maybe a paid provider, try different links. Like if you're watching live TV, try other live TV APKs. If all seven are down, which I highly doubt, like in, I recently made a video about the top seven APKs. If all seven, let's say channel 
ABC is down on all seven APKs. And you have the best setup, which I explained like recently before, and you're still getting buffering, you have to look for different sources. So these seven don't work, try to look for M3U like online. If it's related to a TV show APK or movie APK, try different sources. Like you know when you play Terraria, you get like 20, 30 sources, try all of them. If that's still buffering, you might have to you know, try at a different time, which might work better for you. Like, I don't mind trying at a different time. I don't have to really watch live TV at the moment. Like, I don't mind trying, you know, watching the recorded version or watching it later. If you really, really want no buffering, um, or should I say the least amount of buffering, because some paid IPTV still have um, buffering, and even if you pay for something like Real Debris, which is premium sources, it won't cut up buffering you know, the only reason if you want complete 100% buffer free with no issues, go with your cable or satellite providers, which will cost you an arm and a leg. But this is how the world of IPTV is on quote unquote the black market. You know, this is the only way to, um, you know, find solutions. So if APKs don't work for free and have the best setup, try paid. If paid doesn't work, you have to wait it out. There's nothing really you can do if you've tried everything I showed you in this video. I hope this video helps you out. If you have any further questions, let me know down below. I'll try to answer them. Sometimes I get a lot of comments and I can't go through all of them. So try to tweet me at Twitter and I'll try to reply there as well. And there you guys have it. If you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, let me know down in the comment section below. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.